and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your monthly tarot card reading for the lovely earth sign of Capricorn for the month of October 2018. So let me see if I can get some smoke signals going here. I'll just douse that out. One second. I just want to say, guy, we guys we do have a blood moon on the 24th of this month and then we have of course Halloween on the 31st well that's what you said over there for a minute so harvest blessings to everyone um, I hope everyone out there is, will have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed, spooky, scary Halloween. Um, so my fellow Capricorns, I'm going to pick one card from the Keepers of the Light Oracle card just as an overview. Um, a couple cards from the Witch's Tarot, of course, and one from Postcards from Spirit to get a message from Spirit. And I've just dropped few things here. Let me slide that over. Let me get some try to blow this a cedar stick out. I've been only got two more signs and I've been burning this thing for over an hour now. A couple of hours. It takes like four hours to do readings. sitting over here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And I can't get it to blow out. <laughs> Let me get a piece of holy wood that's on fire. And it's burning good now. Get our smoke signals going here. Oh, that is too funny. So as a Capricorn myself, I'm eager to see what October bestows on us in our bell for spirits to come forth. Let's give us an overview card. You know, guys, there's something about the fall weather, the change of the energy, the change of the seasons. It just everybody seems to be pretty much laid back, you know, much more laid back um, than they usually are, you know. It's just something, the air is crisp. You know, I love this time of year. There's be magic in the air around this time. Nobody's, a lot of people have, you know, just pretty much when I say they back, they're not as hot-headed or ill-tempered as they were in the summer months. So I am enjoying this beautiful fall that we are upon. So, what does Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn need to know? Any messages. We got Mary Magdalene. So, it says, the teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you this month on your journey. So, let's pull a couple of cards here from... The Witch's Tarot, and we will see what is going on for my lovely Capricorn. Hello, Earth Sun. Just want to quick, give a quick shout out. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing to these videos. I do appreciate it. Much gratitude. You can tell I'm getting a little goofy here. So I've only got one more to go Capricorn and Taurus, and I will be. Through with the readings. I think I want to give it one more shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Wishing you all the best and all good things, I hope. The High Priestess. The King of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Hmm. And the Two of Wands. So, we've got some foresights, some new beginnings. Where do we want to go next? 
in our journey. Huh? Where do we want to go next? So we do have one um, major arcane card, and it is the High Priestess. This is all about mysteries. You know, mysteries revealed and wisdom. Wisdom that you have, wisdom that you gain, wisdom that you're continuously learning. You know, uh, this is advice, intuition, you know, psychic ability. Um, you know, manifestations. There's so many different things that that are associated with this card. Material success, you know, um, motherhood, marriage, relationship, everything happy and stable. So, mysteries will be revealed. Intuition will be kicked up. Maybe you're rising your frequencies, you know, on that ascension process. In the ascension process, rising your frequencies. Things that were hidden before will come to light this month, Capricorns. Uh, we're already very intuition, very intuitive um, people. But um, more is to come here. And this is a card of success, too. So some of you are going to have, you know, if you are married, you know, really good, happy stable relationships this month something new is about to begin too we also got this king of wands and this is a change this is a change that's coming some of you may be moving some of you may be traveling this month now we know what the King of Wands is. is just, he looks confident. He looks adventurous. He looks um, charming with a little smile on his face. Um, you know, he's full of fire. And um, he's noble and he's generous. But we've got some travel. You're going to be traveling or you're just going to be um, upright changing your environment. And this could, for some of you, may, this could be a nice, warm friend that you have or a lover that's representing this person. Could be some money coming in. Some money. Okay, wait a minute. The Nine of Wands is to travel. So, if, it could be some travel. But more of, um, of, could be some more of a upcoming windfall for some of you guys. So, something new is on the horizon. And it could be representing a really an authoritative uh, figure. Or, you know, a, a friend um, that you have. And I could be talking about you. Like I said, he is fiery. You know, he's charismatic. You know, with the fire signs. You've also got this Ace of Wands. Now, this is going to be a creation. A new beginning. A birth. You know, Aces represent, represent new uh, beginnings. So, a new exciting experience is about to start. Like I said, it could be a new frequency. It could be your spirituality. It could be a multitude of things. Um, your energy is going to be up to the task at hand. This could be an enterprise. You know, it could be some type of adventure that you're about to come on. It about to begin. It could be a new transformation with the butterfly, you know, located um there with the wand but it's new and exciting things that are happening to you guys this month maybe you are with this two of wands we knew this is also a card of success 
he has he's got his lucky calico cat there so the calico cat is lucky so this is a lucky card if you can see it let me hold it correctly he's got the world in uh, his hand and two wands um, beside him so he's forthright looking out at the ocean or the sea whichever you want to call it and maybe he's thinking about where he wants to go next or what he wants to do next in his adventure so what are you thinking you want to do you're about to bark on something new and beautiful and wonderful and with the ace of wands some of you are going to be um, beginning something new and exciting you know, the ace of wands also means a birth that represents a birth card too so there could be some births out there but you're looking out and you're deciding on where you want to go next so when in the beginning when I said what are you pondering what is it that you want to start? What is it that you want to create? Because this is going to be the month to that you're going to have the energy. We've got these three ones here. You're going to have that fire energy, Capricorn, to see that task all the way through. There ain't going to be no stopping, starting, you know, waiting or all, putting it off. You're going to be able to see it all the way through some of you guys are going to go through a beautiful transformation with the high priestess and this um ace of wands with that butterfly just like i said changing your frequencies hidden things being revealed things that you wanted or you asked and you wanted to know about um mysteries um coming to light all good things though all good things here so Let's see what let's see what spirit has a message for you. So you're ready. You you're looking out and you're ready to go forth. You're ready for this adventure adventure. You're really ready to walk this path and you are um And you're just ready to get out there. So let's shuffle these. You're ready for that next move. You want to know where it takes you and you know how the how the road is gonna be. You maybe accomplished a many, many things. And you want to know what your next adventure is gonna be. Or what you're going to set out to do and you're thinking about it you're looking out over the sea and you're thinking about it because the world is your oyster you've got the world in his hand and you can pick anything that you truly want to do and go for it this month the energy is there Capricorn the energy is there so let's see what spirits has to say since your own earth it says dear shoe since your own earth you understand how buildings are built yes a good solid foundation yet flexibility too in the case of earthquakes truth be told you cannot offer something sustainable unless it is built from the solid base whether it be an ideal that takes form one step at a time or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation dug poured and built we want to remind you that this be this is because you might need a little encouragement to see this through in your life at this time celebrate the fact that right now you have that you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly as well as do a general site check to ensure your hard work is being well supported do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and sound foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come and visit we're so happy for you and so intrigued 
by what you're building. Wow, does that resonate with the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands? Awesome reading there, Capricorn. So I'm going to end it with that. I love each and every one of you. I hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friends, and namaste.